It matters who you work for. Wherever you work, whatever organization or company you work for, it really matters who you work for. That's how you learn. Um, and so pick a good boss over picking um, an institution maybe sometimes. You need to be prepared to adapt yourself. You need to be prepared to anticipate. You need to be prepared that you are not prepared for anything. And that's probably the, the, the thing uh, which still surprises me uh, even 20 years after having started uh, thing never go as planned and uh, it's absolutely necessary to be aware of that don't assume that the world as it exists now with its political structures with the kind of political dispensation that you have and the technology that you have will be the world in 30 years time so the first one is be flexible and ready to adapt change moves incrementally and many times you have to fight once twice three times and lose or lose partially Politics and societies and ways of living don't change so radically, even if we want them to. So I think it's good to take the long view and, and battle what you can, piece by piece, uh, inch by inch, program by program, and slowly you gnaw away at the problem, and, and then suddenly you make change, and the, you build momentum, you hit a tipping point, and then, and then that change does come. I've always felt that working inside companies is one of the best ways to affect change and really help support investment in low carbon, uh, low carbon solutions. Whether you're choosing government or business or uh, the NGO sector, I would always say go for business because that's where you can have most impact. And then I think the other piece of advice is to be peripatetic. Uh, today, uh, the private sector, government and the public sector and civil society are all really working on the same problem set. And being able to have worked in all of those different sectors and understood the problem from different perspectives would make you a much greater asset for any future employer. This is an area that is very promising for all the young professionals and uh, your uh, dimension in the future is really completely different with me. So it's a game changer, it's a new norm, new normal for you. For example, to have the IT dimensions in the climate change, quite uh, opportunity for you to, uh, you know, to uh, be a professional one. Solar installers, you sort of think about all these jobs we've created. I think in the solar industry alone, 55,000 jobs in California. Uh, whether it's your engineers or whether it's your installers on the rooftops, incredible amount of opportunities. I think the younger generation gets that, and what the younger generation is really, um, what's fascinating to me about them is, yes, they want to make a decent living and in income, but I think they care just as much about doing something meaningful. And so I think there's a, a real opportunity here for young people to engage and have an impact rather than just sit and wait. The most important thing is to contribute to the planet and to the global society.